Well, let's take a look at how we can use SignLab with uh, GraphTech Cutter, the FC8000. I think you'll find it as easy as any other program to use. Uh, here we've actually just typed in some lettering and I've resized it. You can resize easily and get previews. Very nice. Uh, in any case, I've got some lettering and I want to cut it out. Well, the cut options are basically found in the cut menu up here. I want to go through a couple of these just to make sure we understand how to use them. For instance, let's go to plotting defaults first. Here you can actually select which model you have for your FC8000. You can anticipate how many copies you want, uh, whether you want a weed border or not. These are sort of like default settings. So as I set these up, uh, you'll be able to actually um, uh, uh, you know, set these for each uh, design that you're trying to cut. So it's not a bad idea to go through these pieces here to make sure that we know, uh, you know what we want as far as default settings. Uh, you can click here to set up that actual graphic. This has a list of all the cutters that are available. Uh, you'll be able to uh, customize your cutters. You'll be able to define what uh, you know, uh, port you're using for communication. And under plotter options, you can even choose a few options in here. Just keep in mind things like a resolution. You don't want to change that uh, necessarily because you uh, can really mess things up. So just unless you have to go to setup, don't use it. But in any case, here we've got our options. Here's some tool options. These are these are very good. I'm using setting number one, and I'm going to add a little overcut. You can see here centimeters per thousand, so it's very small amount of overcut. You can change and turn on velocities and accelerations, blade offsets, pressures, by just checking these uh, marks here. Now keep in mind that uh, we've already preset these on the cutter, on the hardware, so we probably don't need to use these. And once again, if we do turn those on, in all likelihood the uh, software is going to override the hardware settings. So be very careful. Check these if you're going to use them. Okay. All right, let's click OK on that. And uh, we're going to say that we're fine and ready to go here, so I'll click OK or save it as a default either way. And we're going to go back to Cut and we're going to choose Plot. Now what Plot's going to do is take that graphic and transfer it into a Plot menu. So here we are in the uh, SignLab Plot menu. Now what you're looking at is that the holes represent where the uh, push rollers are at and this represents your cut. So you can see here, this is where your knife blade would be right here. It would cut in this direction on your vinyl. So this is the end of your vinyl down here that's uh, on your graph tech. Well, we don't want to waste that. Plus, we don't know how much uh, vinyl we've actually got or distance between those pinch rollers or push rollers. Well, that's what the cut uh, toolbox is all about here. Great tools, easy to use. For instance, uh, first thing I might want to do is just rotate that graphic so I don't use up as much material and you can do that right from here. You notice as I let my mouse sit there, it will actually tell me what that uh, device is going to do. This one is, uh, you know, inverting it, resize diagonally, you know, if I want to, or that is uh, mirror it. Sorry about that. Uh, lots of good tools here to, to give me help. So as you're uh, working with this uh, software, be sure you understand all of these options in here. There are a few very, very good ones. You know, I may want to turn on a weed border around this and how do I set the distance uh, I can double click on that actually right click on it or double click and that would be my weed offset right here so you need to know that that's a half inch offset more than enough we can even reduce that a little bit if we want to so that it's a little tighter around my graphic here you want to get used to these options and again they were found in the cut menu under plot and it gives you a nice little toolbar here zoom tools are available to you uh, sorting tools uh, there's even cut by color. If you had multiple colors, uh, you could do that. Uh, and eventually, you want to actually look at something. You know, you can actually do a cut preview here, and it will give you an idea of how this is actually going to cut on my media. Okay, close that up. So what we can do is basically just go to cut, click on the plot here. It transfers it to my cut menu. Uh, there is a nice little tool over here to query the vinyl height. You know, sometimes we want to just uh, find out how much vinyl is there, what's the distance between those two wheels. So we can actually query the height, or we can literally type it in right here. Just type in the amount that you feel is, is appropriate for this, and it will resize physically on here. This is a nice preview. It shows you exactly what's going to happen. So let's rotate that again. We got looks like we've got plenty of uh, space here. Uh, in the end, we're going to choose Cut. 
and that will literally send that to my cutter over there uh, to the graph text. So we're going to click on cut and that will transfer the drawing uh, via the uh, communication port as you can see starts up my cutter and it will start cutting. In the background my cutter is actually operating at the moment and it's uh, it's really nice it's it's doing the the cuts uh, just like you see on the screen here so I know exactly what I'm gonna get and where it's going to be. If I move this in any direction uh, or reset this in a location that's where it's going to actually cut so it's a good thing I can resize this easily make multiple copies easily uh, there's this just very easy to uh, work with this program in terms of output devices so become familiar with this and you'll be able to output uh, immediately to your uh, FC 8000 using the SignLab product